Free motion embroidery is a way for you to be really creative with your stitching, but you don't have to be an artist to be able to use free motion embroidery. If you have um, a fabric with a pattern on it, you could draw an outline around a flower or a bird. You could try handwriting and embroidering over the top of that. You can even colour in things like photographs that you've printed onto printable fabric. But this is the basics of how it's going to work. You will need your screwdriver, You'll need your free motion embroidery foot, sometimes called a darning foot, and you'll need your darning plate as well. Now this machine has snap-on feet, so that foot drops off, but with the free motion embroidery foot you will need to take off the ankle, which is the part of the machine that holds the foot on, because this isn't a snap-on foot. So take your screwdriver and just loosen the screw, the ankle will drop off. Move you out the way and keep it to one side. And then with your free motion foot, there's a little part here of the foot that needs to go around the screw that you've just undone. But there's a bar here which sits on top of the, the clamp that holds the needle in place, the screw at the side. If it helps, you have your extra high presser foot lift so you can lift that right up into the air. And then you can, if you wish, put the foot down to hold it a little bit more securely while you screw that screw back up again. So I'll do that until it's finger tight and then one twist with the screwdriver. Right, now the bar at the side is, is sitting on top of the needle clamp and I can double check that because now if I move that needle up and down you can actually see the foot bouncing up and down, that's the way that it works. What I'll also need to do is to cover over these feed dogs, either the spiky bits underneath the machine, that pull the fabric through because I want to move that fabric where I want it to move and that may be backwards, forwards, up, down in circles, so I need to cover those up. So your darning plate has got two little bumps on the bottom side of it. Those clip onto two little holes either side of the teeth and we're ready to go. So just really quickly, if I write, let's write Butterick on my fabric like so and that could be your signature it could be something that the children have drawn at school that you're embroidering over the top it could be happy birthday um, that you're going to put behind an aperture on a card maybe this goes underneath your fabric uh, your needle sorry put the foot down although sometimes it may not look as though the foot is actually down and then I'm using the foot pedal and just a straight stitch. So I'm going to sew on top of itself for a few stitches there just to secure the thread and we'll snip off that long piece of thread. And then I'm going to keep the needle in the down position so that whenever I stop, the needle stops down. So I can move the fabric around so it's easier for me to guide it over those letters and then move it. The quicker you move your fabric, the longer your stitch is going to be. If you've never done this before, it would be an idea to just have a practice on a scrap piece of paper, um, fabric first of all, just so that you're not committing to your, your project until you know that it's going to be right. And then follow your lines. So you can go faster and faster as your confidence grows. You can use a zigzag stitch, that will give you a completely different look. And what I do find as well, if you go over your work a couple of times, it looks a little bit more deliberate. Now I'm using an erasable ink pen here as well, so if you are drawing on your fabric it would be a good idea to have an ink that disappears, either with heat, with air or with water. There we go. And there's my signature. If you wanted to go freestyle, and you'll see this on quilts quite a lot, it's called stippling. You simply move the fabric in any direction that you want to. And if it's quilting, this is actually holding together the three layers of fabric, so it's not just decorative, it's purposeful as well. And as I said earlier, that could be tracing around a pattern on a piece of fabric, something that you've drawn. What looks really nice as well actually, if you use the same colour thread as your fabric, so you don't see too much of your design, all you're going to see then is the dimension that it actually creates as you're stitching. So, go get your free motion embroidery foot on, go and get yourself some fabric to play with, 
and enjoy it. 